Oh, I like that. I'm upset. Because yes. then, you know, it would be a problem if you've walked yeah. in these streets. A lot, a lot of you may be missing one or two of those uh, diamonds uh, if, that, if those not. were real. I'd take a couple of them, to tell you the truth, if they were real. Okay, so my question for you. Obviously, there's been so much conversation about the picks in number one and number two. You believe that you should be the number one pick. And that's not to knock any other player. You just look around. If sure. you don't go number one, what would that target look like for the guy that did no, go number one? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm in this job for a reason. But nah, I mean, I'm going to be, I always just have a chip on my shoulder regardless. I always find little stuff to motivate me. Um, so whether I go one, whether I go two, three, four, you know, I feel like I'm a number one overall caliber player. So that's just the mindset I have. And uh, yeah, you know, wh wherever I go, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be motivated. So there will be a target if, if. Orlando does not take you number one. There will be a target not only on Orlando because, you know, number one picks, but the next one. That's fair to say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, from your experience at Duke, you guys, I mean, it's amazing when you can do this with teammates. I'm looking over at Mark, who's here, AJ. What has that experience been going through the draft process and doing it with your teammates from Duke? Yeah, I mean, just being here with the Green Room with them too, and then uh, Trevor and Wendell also being in the draft. Um, it's, it's great. You know, we came in, you know, around this time last year. Um, it was just getting started, and we all had big dreams of, of, of this right here. Um, and so to be in the trenches every single day, you know, working um, and, and end up here is a, it's a big testament to all the work we put in. Do you think that Duke spotlight has prepared you for these moments? Yeah, I, I could definitely say that, you know, Duke put me on the biggest stage, put us on the biggest stage, you know, every game. Um, we were the most watched usually. Um, you know, we probably had the most pressure. Um, so. You know, there's nothing we haven't seen. We played in front of 70,000, 30,000. You know, like we've played in front of the, some of the biggest crowds. So I definitely think it prepared us. Uh, and we saw you get a work in, workout in late last night. Um, Chris Brickley, was that to get the nerves out? Or, you know, what has this process been like for you? No, nah, it definitely was, was a little bit of that. You know, all day yesterday I was running around, you know, making appearances, you know, doing ads and just, you know, doing a bunch of stuff. Um, and it was just kind of, you know, I was moving, you know, all around. And so I wanted to get in the gym, you know, late and just, like you said, kind of get the nerves out, you know, get back and, you know, break a sweat a little bit. Yeah, we know this schedule is insane. And, I mean, family is here. Is your, is your mom here? I know she had a, a big impact. I think you got that drop step from her. Um, you know, she, <laughs> she obviously had a, a great career um, at Washington. Uh, what, what would you sum up? Uh, her impact basketball-wise on, on, on uh, She's trajectory. been a huge influence, you know, on and off the court. But, you know, on the court, you know, she raised me in the gym, basically, you know. Um, from the moment I was born, um, she was coaching, um, had me on the sidelines, you know, messing around and, you know, just playing with a ball. Um, and, you know, she was on me a lot growing up, you know, making sure I was doing what I was supposed to be doing, um, you know, playing hard. And uh, it really it really paid off. You know, back then, you know, I may not have liked it. I may have been frustrated. but. You know, all of it paid off for sure. Okay, I, I want you to give advice right now. I, you are a veteran. You might not know this. But for the kids that are coming up next year through this draft, what have you learned in this process that you would give yourself, let's say, at the start of your college season, uh, like from, from that moment? Yeah. So what would you say to the kids that are about to go into college and start next year? Man, just don't, don't look too far ahead. You know, don't take it day by day, stack days, get better every day. You know, live in the present. Don't look far ahead and just, you know, have fun with it. You know, embrace it, take it all in because it flies by. Like, I can really say that one year of college, like, I enjoyed it, but it flew by. And um, you just kind of look back on it like, you know, wow, it feels like we was just, you know, playing in the tournament. So, um, yeah, enjoy it. Take it day by day. Uh, we all knew you were league ready after, like, one or two games at Duke <laughs> when you were handling them yeah. like a grown man versus boys. Um, you mentioned the word fun. What has been the most fun part about this process? Um, really, this right here. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're talking, no, we're oh, talking about, about you. Talking about you. Talking about you. We're talking about you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but just a uh, draft week, you know, being around all the guys, like just seeing the, the smiles on guys' faces, you know, guys' dreams is coming true. Families is, you know, smiling. Um, and it's just great, you know, guys, are, guys' lives is going to change after tonight. So it's great. Have you had Houston barbecue before? <laughs> I have. I have. Uh, I Tom, he's, he's very worried, good. He worried about Orlando barbarecue. It's, Tell it's, 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 it's it's Orlando. Have, it's okay. very good. <laughs> it's very good. Thank you so sweet. much. Ha, ha, have an incredible night. Um, Thank you. And, you know, congrats ahead of time. Yeah. Thank you. You're already, you've already won. Doesn't you've already won. You Clearly, look at your chain. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.